Ionic 5N versus Ionic 5. Looks ex kind of the same. Let's check this out. So that's the Ionic 5N and this is the Ionic 5. So you can see a bit of a different design on the back versus the back here. Door handle design, super nice. Very similar on both models. Boom, back seats back there. Hi. How you doing? And it looks so sleek. I know. It's nice. And you know what's cool? The nighttime, everything lights in the color. Really? You choose the color. It's got ambient lighting in here? Yeah. That's awesome. The whole thing, the speakers, this whole area lights up. It's amazing. The speakers and, too? Yeah, the ring of the oh, speaker. Oh, oh, nice yeah, purple. I see. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, here, awesome. it, well, the sun is hitting directly. Right. So. Does it have it in the back as well? Yeah. yeah. I can see both. Awesome. And the Ionic 6, the sedan, it has a trim here, and you can mix top and bottom different colors. Any okay. color, any color you want. Oh, and the back has sunshades. That's cool. Built yeah. into them. And uh, you can uh, lean on the back seat, the back rest. Back there, they're yeah, reclined. You can okay. lay back uh, all, all right. the way down to a 25 degree. It's amazing. Uh, all right, so now you start. How do, the, uh, how do I adjust yes, the, oh, back here, down here? Yes. Okay, pull this down. But you engage gear, you step on the brakes. You twist it forward. Ah, that's kind of cool. Now, just for the sake of doing, look at the blind spot on your dash. That's cool. So you can see Turn what you signals. cannot see in the mirror. Right. So in case like you're changing lane, you the car it. has plenty of assistance to change lanes, but uh, you have that one extra thing to, that's cool. uh, to save your life <laughs> if you miss uh, on something there. This is cool. It has this down it here. It has the, the third part of the seat that gives you more. Uh, oh. In a long, in a long trip, uh, it you rest your legs in there. The car will control the speed. It can keep the distance with oh. adaptive uh, cruise control. Adaptive cruise control, it has awesome. has the lane centering device. Oh, really? So, yes. Can you take your hands off? Yeah. Really? Awesome. So confidence in the car. We, we were in the factory in Alabama and we were in the back country road. Uh-huh. We we're not supposed right, right. to tell you that, but we wanted to see uh, me and my co-driver, professional uh, racing drivers. We were like, how much it would do for us? Because uh -huh. there was some actually very hard cornering right and the car almost make those corners too but really? the car it start warning you that yeah you have to grab the Take wheel control yeah, yeah grip the wheel put your hands on the wheel but after i think uh five minutes uh-huh car was like giving us a countdown say we are turning off the uh. right now three <laughs> Two, one, <laughs> and it was beeping, buzzing, oh vibrating. Oh my gosh. Man, it was, it was a thing. Is we mad at you? Pressed what the car could do. So the 405 in LA, you have like a five lanes wide uh, piece of a highway in there. Right. And plenty of traffic around. You have to have the lines on the, on the ground. Follow that guy. Okay, got don't, you. Don't let the guy pass it. Just, just go around. Okay, nice turning. Oh yeah. Very Paddle shifters are cool. I, one of the other cars, I forget which one it is. Um, maybe it was, shoot, I forget what it was, but they also had paddle shifters similar to this. I do like how- All right, so the paddle shifters uh -huh. on this very car- Regen. They're for regen, the intensity of the regen. Heck yeah. And they work like a gear shifting because if you click with your right, yeah. it frees more the car. If you click with your left, which will be a downshift in a regular car, right. adds more, adds more, adds more, as if you're downshifting. Right, right? So got right now you. we're too slow to even feel, we're six miles an hour, so it's not going and to And now we're, ah, oh, I got it. You can see the intensity right there. Yeah, yeah, now look I, at I that, pedal. I pedal, heck yeah. I personally don't like I pedal. Really? Well, if, if you're in traffic, I use that on Thursday. <laughs> One hour in traffic in San Francisco. This is nice in, yeah. in there, yeah, yeah. Now, on the Ionic 5N, mm -hmm. have you heard that we have a gearbox? in that car they have a gearbox in it not really but yeah, really? <laughs> yeah so it's a simulation of okay. a gearbox okay so it locks you per gear it's a it's a pedal shifter you, oh, sh you shift gear you shift gear you shift gear if you didn't do when we go back uh -huh. you should try the and look at the performance blue I look at that look at that one that it is a nice a color speed gearbox in that car if the engineers told me when I start driving the car, uh -huh. uh, I drive for a hunt in the auto show. Okay. I start driving the car in New York auto show in uh, April. It was the first time when they released the car to us. Yeah. And if the engineer was there and told the car has an eight-speed gearbox, it's a dual clutch gearbox. Dual clutch. It shifts gear very quickly. Uh, red line is uh, 8,000 RPMs. 8,000 RPMs. <laughs> it's absolutely perfect. Wow. I have no idea how long and how hard for, like, for the engineers uh, uh, to build a system like that. Right. I don't know how hard it was for them. What the heck? If she wasn't, she's not in the program, she, if she was in the program, I would be extremely mad at her. Right I now. know. She we could, we could, turning right or something. We could test out the horn on her. <laughs> Palatrips are cool. I like there's so, like a texture the, on it uh, too. Yeah. 
So do you want to do the launch control, uh, not the acceleration of this car or just drive the course? I feel like I should trust out the handling and okay. do the course, right? What do you the think, handling. right? Do the handling. Uh, if you feel like, get the Ionic 5 in. Uh-huh. Do the launch control in that car. Launch control on the uh, uh, in the end, okay. Yeah, on those. Yeah. I'm buying a white one. Yeah? I, I, I had to decide in between the white and the black and I think I decide Today, I think I decide on the white. I was going to get this car here because in my opinion, uh -huh. the Ionic 5 is the best electric vehicle. I don't have a discount because I don't right. work for Hyundai. Like I don't, I'm not a Hyundai employee. Like I, right, 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 I got you. But like I just think the Ionic 5 Good is car. the best uh, all way around electric vehicle on the market right now. Speaking of that, um, do you know the battery size on this? Like how big the battery is? I'm putting you on the spot, I know, but. Yeah, in a normal day, I would tell you all the numbers. Yeah, yeah. It's a 800 volt uh, battery platform. So at 24%, we have 58 miles oh, left. 58 miles in sport mode, by the way. So we're, yeah, we're gonna be burning mode. through those miles. Oh. So you can change the drive mode yeah, from, click, click the oh, button, click yeah. it. Oh, check this out. Oh, look at, the region went crazy on that when I went to Eco. But you are an iPad Normal. as well. Yeah, that too. Normal mode, and then we have sport mode. Oh yeah, that, yeah, you can really feel the change in drive modes, which yeah. is pretty cool. I. I could be telling you wrong, but I think it's a 78 uh, kilowatt battery. 78 kilowatt battery. Do you know I, the max range? We'll confirm it. I'll uh, look it up. 305 miles. 300 miles. With extended the, battery. 305 miles extended battery on a full uh, charge. The Ionic 6 is built on top of the same platform. So mm -hmm. it has the same battery, the same powertrain, like motors, you know, like everything. Okay. And it does 346. So the car will do 41 miles more than this car. So it's a slightly more aerodynamic than this one. Yeah, this car was developed in a wind tunnel. Uh -huh. The Ionic 6 was extremely all the way to the extreme aero. Yeah, I, I, it car, looks like it. Man, that car cuts through the air like nothing else really? I've seen. Wild, so, okay. As this car here, the, the drag number is 0 0.16. Okay. And the Ionic 6 is 0 0.16 as well. But look at the size of size the difference. car. So like, of course, you're moving more air when you drive this For car. For sure. Right? This so one's definitely bigger. We do have a box on the trunk making a little noise. No worries, no worries. Wow, it really moves. Oh man, I'm, this, this car, Hyundai claim, Hyundai is a very conservative brand, right? So yeah. Hyundai claims that this car will do 0 0.62 miles per hour in 5.1 seconds. 5.1? All the magazines, watch out. All the magazines, like a car and driver magazine, Haggerty, like all the magazines, they put the draggy device, the clock in this car, 4.4, 4.5, like, let's, let's be conservative, 4.5 yeah. all day long. Dang, okay. And do a hit. Oh, wild, wild. Four and a half seconds. That is, it really, so, it's responsive too. Yeah. You hit it, it oh, goes. Yeah. Click eco mode, give him one more click in there. Now right. we're in eco mode, floor it. Oh, <laughs> such so, a difference. You still have 320 horsepower, you still yeah. have almost 500 pound feet of torque. It's just eco. But yeah. There was such it a big difference. In a, in a softer way. If you want to pin it, send it. Nice. And slow down. Uh, that region goes crazy though. You can really feel it. Nice. I just noticed it has a little heads up display on there yes, too. Yes, and you can adjust uh, like how low, how oh, high it goes. Oh, got you, okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, if you're in the market for an AV, this car is very complete. Look at this I thing. like uh, it. I, I love the center console, by the way. Oh, I you know that this thing moves. Yes. Oh, okay. So you can, you can like slide this thing all the way back. Do you know about that? You can move the center console forward and back. Cause that's awesome because I love open center consoles. Oh, so you want to videotape the... Woo! Look at that! It splits right in the middle and oh it goes... Oh my God, it went all the way back here. It's so good! Look and at that! And... You, you can stop it anywhere. Oh my gosh! That is so good. That this, is awesome. This is every Tesla owner. <laughs> Biggest regret. Yeah, he's right. Because and I, they don't have a curtain. And I have a Tesla, and that is a big, that is a point I, for me. I know. That, he knows, he knows. I know, because both of my neighbors in LA, both house, the house on the right has two Teslas, the house on the left has one Tesla. <laughs> and they all have no curtains. Yep, it's a big complaint. Well, this is nice all around. Um, I love the paddle shifters. I like the, the feel on the back. I like the steering wheel a lot. This is one of my favorite steering wheels because of the hand grips. Mine too, yeah. You, the hand grips, right? Yeah, so the end has the same grip, but okay. it's a three spoke wheel and I think it's beautiful. So turn in and now there's a center line of the concrete. 
Oh, I see so it, yeah. Yeah, so make sure that's on the center of the car. So we can have a line of cars on the right and one on the left. They keep going all the way to that one line. And you push the P button right P here. P button. Push in. Oh, push in. There we go. That's awesome. The text. I wanted to show you okay. this thing here. Woo, look at uh, that. On the 360 camera. You look can, at that. You can touch screen. This Move thing. it around and everything. Yeah, any angle you like. Oh, and it's, uh, awesome. it's a real-time camera, so it shows the wheels spinning. You right. can see the, the guys right here. You can see your backup camera if you just want. Yeah. Oh, awesome. the front camera as well. Front camera? Yeah. There's a front oh, camera. Oh, I forgot to show you this thing here. That cool. is so that handy. Look at that guy. He's right. Look at you see him, Chris. Oh <laughs> that is awesome. The the frame rate it's is a really 5K good. It's a camera. Is it really? Yeah. The frame rate's really good. It's this is amazing. super super. If smooth. somebody pull behind us, you can see the facial expression of the driver in the car. That's wicked. That's, 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 that's how good it is. You can set up three different remotes uh, for garage doors. Oh, for awesome! Awesome! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can set cameras and things all else uh, on the on the mirror as well. Wild. Guys, very nice to meet you. I appreciate it, man. You're very welcome. Thank you. Wait a little, drive the end. The end? Okay. It's worth it. It's worth it? Yeah. Man, this was awesome. This one's already great, so the end is probably <laughs> definitely much sportier, yeah. which is what I love. Check out that center console. I love it. Steering wheel, I love it. Center screen, love it. This is a great car. So we'll definitely have to see what it looks like in terms of price, range, battery size, all that. But the Ionic 5, I'm digging it. I am straight digging it. Okay, so as you can see, we have the Tesla numbers on the screen. We're also going to be looking at the Hyundai Ionic 5s in real time on their website. And it's not looking good. So the Tesla one, yeah, it, we got a problem here. So we're gonna be looking at the rear wheel drive as well as the all wheel drive version of the Model Y. The rear wheel drive one is going to be less expensive, but it's going to offer us approximately 330 miles of range. Now, the Hyundai doesn't even get close anywhere. If you look on this side right here, for all of the SE and SLE trims, it's going to max out at 300. Now the Model Y all wheel drive and rear wheel drive don't even go past 50,000. So we're not gonna be going up to that level because remember, when I look at these, I'm looking at range to price. That's my main thing. Now the SLE is kind of what I want. It is what has the highway drive assist, similar to the standard free autopilot that comes in all Teslas. But for this one, it's going to be a starting MSRP of $47,000. The problem with that though, is if you compare that to the Tesla with the all wheel drive starting at around $47,000, the Tesla gets 300 miles, this only gets 260 miles. That's not a lot for something I would want to use this for. This is like a large sedan, small SUV. So you're gonna be wanting to use this as a utility vehicle, right? 260 miles is not a lot. Okay, you get the rear wheel drive, 300 miles. Well, you might as well for cheaper because even if you go down to the 45,000, you don't get the autopilot equivalent but you get 300 miles max only with the rear wheel drive comparing it to the Tesla. So the prices just aren't good enough for the range, which sucks because I really, really, really like the interior. I do like the look of it. It's pretty cool. And it, it's just, man, really, really blows because as long as this thing has ventilated seats, as long as it has like the equivalent to autopilot, and if it just had better range or keep the same range, but lower the price has to be like five to ten thousand dollars to really beat tesla then i would totally consider this but since that's not currently the case it's really hard to say that i would rather buy this over a tesla so i think comparing the hyundai ionic 5 to the tesla model y i'm a range guy so i'm going to want rear wheel drive that's going to give me that extra mileage from the tesla that's fine though if you want all wheel drive it's, it's super important to you like me i'm getting more into adventures so rethinking that you know what what the heck i might get the all-wheel drive version of the tesla but the all-wheel drive version of the Tesla still gets me about 300 miles and I have the supercharger network. The problem with this is for the price of the all-wheel drive Tesla, we only get 260 miles out of this. So I just, I, I would want to say, hey, get the Hyundai because you know, I really love the interior. I truly, truly do. It is awesome in here, but the problem is it's just not there in terms of uh, price to range 
to rear wheel drive or all wheel drive configuration on, on what I would like. Sorry guys, I just can't recommend it, but I really, really do like this vehicle. I hope either it gets a range bump with some battery technology or the price comes down and then my opinion would definitely change. So I'm definitely 100% gonna keep an eye out for Hyundai's EVs. Let me know what your opinions are in the comments below. Which SUV would you pick? Which car fits your needs better? I would love to hear it.